this is Aaron with Steel Picking and we're going to do a video lesson today. I want to show you some uh, advanced chords and maybe an advanced chord study on E9 tuning. Also uh, one of my purposes in teaching this is to do some ear training. Uh, a lot of these chords when you start adding like the uh, extending the chords out like ninths or sevenths, flat sevenths, flat fives, that kind of thing, you get into a point where uh, if you're playing with certain groups, you have to be mindful of the setting that you're in. In other words, if you're playing like a, a Red Foley song or some kind of a country song or maybe a, a real pretty gospel song, you wouldn't be playing a 13 flat 9 flat 5 on a, you know, on certain songs. So you have to use your taste. Uh, I find a lot of times too that on these chords, like when you're playing a 1-4-5 progression, on the five chord, uh, you can get away with more of these, like playing a ninth or like a you know a flat five, flat seven, or something like that. So again, my purpose is just to show you some maybe extended chords where they're at on the on the guitar, and let you start developing your own tastes and maybe uh, incorporate some of these in some of your playing in the future. So I uh, hope that'll help you with that. Uh, we just want to tell you too that our Patreon supporters, we really appreciate you. And we're going to put the tab and the backing track for this lesson will be up on that side if you want to support us there. We'd appreciate that. So let's look at this advanced chord study in the key of G. All right, let's look at this lesson now. We're in the key of G and we're going to play some, uh, like I said, it may be a little bit different for some of y'all. But it's a, a little bit, uh, an, I, I consider it kind of like an advanced chord study in that we're using some alternate chords and forms of the chords. Now sometimes you have to realize that the bass player will be doing the root of the chord. So in other words, if I play a maybe like an F9 flat 5, I might not even be playing the F note, the bass player or the keyboard player would be picking that up. So uh, you have to play within the structure. So overall, we're gonna be playing a basic uh, form of these chords and they'll work over the chords because you could hear it in the uh, soundtrack or in the backing track. So the first chord that I played on that uh, example is a E9, I mean a G9. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to our eighth fret, which is normally a C with no pedals, no knee levers. And we're going to uh, press A and B pedals. And then we're also going to lower our E to E flat, our eighth string and our fourth string. We're going to lower down with our E knee lever. Okay, and I'm going to play eight by itself. And play seven, six, five as a group. As a group. While that's ringing, I'm gonna hit four. So there's the ninth, that A note. Okay. Now we're also going to incorporate a, another knee lever and I'm not going to try to uh, I didn't teach another way to get these chords we're going to use our knee lever that lowers our fifth string a half tone and that gives us a flat five now the next chord in the group is an E flat seven flat five we go to our eleventh fret we pick our ninth string by itself then we play five six and eight as a groove then hit four. Okay, so now we've gone from G ninth to an E flat, E flat seven, flat five. Okay, the next chord is an E minor 11. We go to our eighth fret again Press our A pedal and our E to E flat knee lever. You're going to hit five, six, eight, then hit four. OK, 
Okay, so now we have G9, E flat 7, flat 5, then we have an E minor 11. Okay, then we're going to play an F7, flat 5. We go to our 9th fret. Press our A pedal down, pick 9, 7, 6, and then add 5. Okay, so that's going to play over F7 flat 5. Okay, the next chord is an E flat 9th. We go to our 11th fret, play 5, 6, and 8, and then add 7th. And that's going to be our ninth note in that chord. Okay, then it goes to an F ninth. We go to our 13th fret, do the same thing, 5, 6, 8, and then add 7. Okay, then we're going to play a G ninth. We go to our 15th, play 5, 7, 9, and then add 8. Okay, so now we've got So we're playing, uh, uh, like I said, some kind of advanced, a little bit advanced chords. And what we're doing too, we're trying to do some ear training here. So that's uh, showing you some chords that you can play out of the key of G and some different positions. So uh, let's look at something else now. Uh, we can take this and look at our number system. So if we were in G, we we're playing a one, that E flat is a sharp five, The E minor is a six minor. The F is a flat seven. Goes back to another E flat, which is a sharp five. Goes to another F, which is a flat seven. Back to G, which is the one. Okay. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And I was also working on doing some uh, single note playing out of this with the backing track. And I simply would take the chord positions and just play the basic play those chords as single note strings. So you can work that up too. And uh, like I'd say, if you did that G, you can try some approaching notes. Same thing with that uh, E flat seven flat uh, five. And that's how you learn how to do your soloing over these kind of chords too. You're basically using the chord position as a starting reference to learn your single note playing. And that's how you, you'll learn how to do your single string picking too. So uh, like I said, this is just a, a lesson I want to show. I was working uh, on some different sounds and some different chord progressions and I thought I would include this and I hope it gives you some new ideas on some uh, ways to approach the E9 tuning. Okay, so as always, thank you and uh, let me know what you think.
All right, as always, Jake and I just want to tell you we appreciate you. I uh, hope you're subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you do that, uh, you'll get the notifications when we post up our new material. And again, just thank our Patreons who are uh, helping us there and helping us uh, monetarily that, so we can get new equipment and try to do things that improve our videos and the quality. Also, uh, there'll be some links if you want to check out some of the things that we're using. Uh, those will be available for you now. Jake will put those up. So you can uh, look at the equipment and if you want to maybe see about purchasing some of the things that we're using, you'll be able to check that out there. So as always, uh, we just thank you and uh, keep picking.